So in this video, we're going to calculate the value of unknown sides on a triangle. And in example one, it is asking you to calculate the value of the pronumeral below, which is the side we're trying to find. Now, you'll notice three dot points that basically tell you what you need to do and in what order to solve these. So the first dot point says to label the sides as hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. So starting with the hypotenuse, if you look at the right angle and you go opposite the right angle, you will get what is called your hypotenuse, which we usually just label with an H. Next, we want to find the opposite. Now you have a marked angle on your triangle and opposite means opposite the marked angle. So the letter A is your opposite. We usually just put the letter O there for opposite. And last of all, you have what's called your adjacent. And adjacent means next to. So the adjacent side is next to the 28 degree angle. Also, what we need to do after we've labeled our sides is we need to look at our sides and go, OK, well, our hypotenuse is 3.2. Our opposite is the letter A and the adjacent. There's no number or letter there. So we're going to cross it off. We're not going to use it. We're only going to use hypotenuse and opposite. We're now on to step two, which is using SOCOTOA. And you'll notice I've got SOCOTOA written on the right. It's an acronym. And you can see what each letter stands for. Basically, the acronym SOCOTOA is sp split into three parts. SO, CA, and TOA. All right. So going back to the question, you will notice we have opposite and hypotenuse, but not adjacent. So we've got O and H. And you look in the acronym and you go, all right, where, are, where is O and H? And it's right at the beginning. O and H is here. So that means we're going to use the first three letters of the acronym, S, O, and H. All right. So S stands for sine. Now, usually when we do sine, we just write sin because we only use the three, the first three letters. So we just write sin, but it's pronounced sine. And next to your sine, you write your angle, which in this case is 28 degrees. Then an equal sign. And then you're going to draw up a, a fraction. So I've just drawn the what's called the vinculum bar, which is the part of the fraction. And we've got to figure out one number goes above and, and a number goes below, or sometimes a letter. Now, to know which one's which, if you look at your acronym, after the S comes O. So O goes at the top, and H comes last, so H goes at the bottom. Now, O and H both have an attributed letter or number. For, for example, opposite is A, so A goes at the top, and hypotenuse is 3.2, so 3.2 goes at the bottom. All right. Now, when you get to this point, you now go to your third dot point, which is slide, switch, or invert. Now, all of these questions are slide questions. And slide happens when a number is at the bottom. And when you have a number at the bottom of the fraction or the denominator, you slide it to the front of sine 28, which gives you 3.2 times sine 28 equals A. Now we have the information we need to find out find A. So we'll bring up our calculator. Make sure your calculator has DEG, which stands for degrees. Sometimes it's just got the letter D, but if you don't have this, it will actually give you the wrong answer. Anyway, we're going to go 3.2 times sine 28. Sine 28 equals, and that has given us 1.5. Now, what we want to do it correct to two decimal places, so we're actually going to write 1.50. So coming back down here, 1.50 equals A, which is the same as saying A equals 1.50. And this is in centimeters, so we're going to write centimeters next to it. And now we've solved question A. So we'll move on to question B and follow the same process. All right. So with question B, we're going to start by labeling the sides. Okay, so opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. 
opposite the marked angle is the opposite and finally your adjacent which is next to the marked angle. Out of these three I'm going to cross off the O because the O doesn't have any numbers or letters next to it. So we have A and H. Now if we look at Sokotoa we can see A and H in the middle of our acronym. It goes C A H. Okay so we're going to do Sokotoa and we're doing the middle part of our acronym. C stands for cos. Next to cos or cosine we're going to write our angle which in this case is 31 degrees 45 minutes. Then an equal sign then the vinculum bar. Now following the order after C comes A for adjacent. A in this case is the letter or pronumeral B and H comes last which is 11.25 so that goes at the bottom of the fraction. And if you have a number at the bottom you slide it to the front giving us 11.25 times cos 31 degrees 45 minutes sorry which equals B I shouldn't have put the equal sign at the beginning. Now bringing up our calculator that we used before we're going to clear it and we're going to go 11.25 oops 11.25 times cos 31 now to do degrees we're going to use the DMS button 45 DMS again equals and to two decimal places that would be 9.57 we would round up and this is in millimeters so we need to put our units in and we can rearrange it so it's B equals 9.57 millimeters. And that concludes example one.